What's up guys? My name's Anki and this is my FRS release series 1.0. So I got this car on the 24th of September in 2014 and the first couple of months have been pretty awesome. This car is amazing, it's really fun to drive and it's a limited edition version. Now when I was looking for a new car to get, there's three things I was looking for. The first thing I was looking for is something that's affordable, the second was if it's fun to drive, and the third something that looks great and this car perfectly fit all three of those <laughs> however prior to the FRS I had other options such as the Genesis Coupe the Dodge Challenger V6 and the Camaro V6 and I didn't choose the muscle cars because I think you gotta go with the V8 if you get any of them but that's just my opinion I was actually this close to getting the blue monogram FRS but I checked the Toyota website or Scion website and I saw that a month later this bad boy was coming out so I just waited an extra month. So you guys are probably wondering if I added any aftermarket parts to this car. Well, here's the answer to that question. But I actually didn't add any parts to this car because it already has a full TRD kit on it such as a skirt, the side fender garnish, the three-piece spoiler, the shark fin on top, the quad tip exhaust which is actually what I would probably put on it if I had a choice. Other than that, some people's reaction to this car have been pretty good. One guy actually thought this car was a Ferrari. I don't think it really looks like a Ferrari but mostly people would assume it's a Lexus LFA by the way it looks. Maybe a Porsche Cayman. Now, for the downsides of having an FRS. Well, if you couldn't tell by now, there's actually not a lot of space in the trunk. But, it's a sports car, so you should be knowing what you're getting yourself into. Now, as much fun as this car is to drive, the passengers probably wouldn't agree on how fun the experience is in the back seat. As you see, there's not much room here. My head's actually touching the ceiling, and every single bump you go through the passengers are gonna feel it on the top of this car right Dorito oh yeah thank you so much for watching this video guys and if I could recommend a good-looking car that's affordable and fun to drive I'll definitely choose the Scion FRS